Hello and y'all join everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a very herbaceous oven steamed chicken wrapped in banana leaves. And in Monlang dialect, we like to call this dish kakasi. Uh, within the Mon culture, you can typically find this dish being made during camping season, during hunting season, herb season, or any time of the year. It is loved by the grandparents by a lot of elders or your parents because it's packed full of aromatics and flavor and goes great with sticky rice. A little bit goes a long way. So today I'm gonna to show you guys the chicken version of this. There's a lot of different ways and proteins that can be used for this particular dish, such as beef, deer, pork, fish, and wild squirrel, and other types of proteins. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I like to make it at home. It's a very simplified version of it, but also very packed full of flavor and goes great with sticky rice and also for you guys to be able to make it as well so before we start let's go ahead and pick some fresh herbs from our garden and then we can start cooking let's go Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is to mince up your chicken. And today I'm using a brown hen that I got from a local Asian grocery store. I took the meat and the skin off of the bone and just minced it up really fine. And then I saved the bones and just made a very simple tofu soup with it. Meat wise, the weight for this is about one and a half pounds of chicken here with the skin on. So if you guys want, you could definitely add the bones in and cook it and slow cook it in with the meat here. Personally for me, I don't really like to add the bones in there just because it's always in the way when we eat it. But for those who love to nibble on the bones, go ahead and add the bones in with the meat. So in the bowl here, let's go ahead and add in the messed up chicken. We're gonna season this with some fish sauce. I have some salt and black pepper. And some chicken bouillon, totally optional. Now to our herbs. So this dish is a very herbaceous dish. So if you guys love, love, love herbs, this dish is for you. So we're gonna add quite a lot of herbs. If you guys are more into the meat, add more meat. It's really up to you guys. But herb wise, we're gonna be adding some minced up lemongrass in here. I have some kefir lime leaf that we minced up as well and some minced up peppers for some spice and then lots of herbs so we're using quite a lot today uh, we have some garlic chives here that we got from our garden this is the young garlic chives if you guys don't have this you guys can definitely just sub it out with minced garlic we have lots of cilantro a little bit of dill and some green onions so we're gonna add all of that in here and it does seem like a lot of herbs, but they will welt and cook down in the oven. Okay, go ahead and just mix this with your hands. And you guys saw earlier, these herbs are picked from our garden, nice and fresh and super, super fragrant. So this is nice and mixed. Let's go ahead and transfer this into foil and banana leaves, and then we can start cooking them. Okay, so I have a pretty big sheet of tin foil lined here, two layers of it. We're gonna line it with some fresh banana leaves. This is from our garden as well. I'm gonna rinse it really well. Okay, right in the center, go ahead and add in the meat mixture here. Now, if you guys don't have fresh banana leaves, the frozen one works just as well. You guys can find it at the frozen section of most Asian grocery store. You can also go to, if you guys have any Mexican store next to you, they also sell fresh ones there as well, which is really, really cool. So once that's in the center, we can go ahead and take the ends and just wrap it up. Wrap it like this so you have some airways for it to actually steam out. Make sure that all the bottom sides are nice and sealed. So 
So I have a pan here and it's about two to three inches high. And go ahead and place the meat in the center here. We're gonna go ahead and place this in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven. Then go ahead and add in some hot boiling water, just enough to get at least an inch of water to the pan. Go ahead and close the oven and we're gonna let this cook for at least two hours. And we'll come back and check on it and see how it is. All right, so after two hours of cooking this in the oven, the chicken is ready. Um, within one hour of cooking this, I did go back and check on the water level. So if you guys notice that a lot of the water has evaporated, just go ahead and add a little bit more um, just to make sure that it doesn't burn. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Woo. Oh my gosh, if you guys can smell this right now, it's amazing. So at this point, if you guys want, you can go ahead and try it for a seasoning. You can add a little bit more salt or fish sauce in there. If you notice, it lacks a little bit of that saltiness. It's not the prettiest, but it is full of flavor, full of aroma and herbs and spices, and it's so good. So the best way to eat this is to simply serve it with some sticky rice. And of course, anything wrapped in banana leaves is amazing, right? <laughs>